see I just came from the top of Cadillac Mountain and there is a video of that little excursion and I have to say that from up there I could see that there are two cruise ships in the harbor today and one of them I don't think we'll be able to see from town because it's on the north side of Bar Island we might be able to see the other one from the town dock but I think that's going to impact how many people there are walking around on Main Street. I was also on the Park Loop Road earlier this morning and I encountered uh, several busloads of tourists that I think probably came from the cruise ship. So we're going to come down here. We're going to do my usual drive down Main Street. And I have to say that October 30th was the last day until next May that the parking meters are in use. So it's free parking in Bar Harbor today. Now you see there are quite a few people walking around here and I think a lot of these people are off of the cruise ships in the harbor. So and there is a there's not much parking available there is some but as I said it's free so I'll see if I can park down by the waterfront and have a bit of a look so this is the impact of a cruise ship in the harbor lots of people walking around even though several hundred of them have boarded tour buses to go into Acadia National Park. As we cruise down through, there are quite a few people here too. I mean, most of the parking is full. So here we are, typical November 2nd in Bar Harbor. Pretty crazy. But I do have to say good things about the fact that Bar Harbor has taken the parking meters out of service until next May. And indeed, they are actually taking the parking meters out. They remove them in the winter. So we'll go down and park on a town dock. It looks like there is parking down there. And the kiosk parking is also free down there. So these boats here are whale watchers. But I think they're in service right now, shuttling tourists back and forth to the cruise ships. Okay, as we head over. And they might be taking people out for a whale watch tour. It's a beautiful day out on the water to go whale watching. Although I don't know if the whales are still here. They may have gone south to get into warmer waters. And here we are on the uh, town dock. And uh, both cruise ships are on the other side of Bar Island, which is right there. And you cannot see them from down here. Had I not gone up Cadillac Mountain, I would not know that they're here today. So I'm going to park out here and we'll have a look at the harbor. It's kind of windy today, so uh, please uh, bear with me. Sound quality is not going to be great. Now there's the Bar Harbor Inn. I don't, I think it's probably closed for the season as we look out over the harbor at the Porcupine Islands. And the lobster fleet is mostly back in for the day. It's about 1.30. And over there is Bar Island. Sorry about the wind noise. And some nice fall color still there. I'm going to walk out a little further and find a spot sheltered from the wind. Uh, from the top of Cadillac Mountain, I could tell that there are two cruise ships on the other side of Bar Island. Of out of the wind a little bit here so here's a nice view of the harbor at Bar Harbor with lobster boats only all the pleasure boats are gone and a 
nice view of Bar Island. The tide is low, so you could walk over there today. I'm going to step out of this wind shadow and over here we have various boats that I believe are shuttling passengers to and from the cruise ships. These little red boats are there specifically for moving passengers to and from cruise ships. And these other boats are a mix of whale watchers and other boats that uh, would normally, if there weren't cruise ships coming, be out of the water already for the 2022 season. So, cruise ships do impact Bar Harbor rather dramatically. So let's head back up through downtown. I'm not going to walk because there's just too many people on the sidewalks. But there is Agamon Park looking brilliantly green today. It won't be too long before that grass will start going brown and then it will turn white once it starts snowing. Although we often don't get snow until the end of December. So Bar Harbor today, November 2nd, 2022. Lots of tourists in town. Uh, quite a few people have driven. They're parked on Main Street. Not so many down here. And uh, lots of tourists walking around Bar Harbor who came in off of the two cruise ships that are out in the, in the harbor. Okay, I'm going to drive up through uh, downtown Bar Harbor up Main Street. And we'll see what it looks like again. He said there are lots of tourists walking around, and I suspect a lot of them came off of the two cruise ships out in the harbor. So here we go. Up from the waterfront through downtown Bar Harbor. Sorry about the light striking the lens obliquely as we go between buildings. There are, as you can see, quite a few people walking around down here. So come in by cruise ship, get off the ship, come into downtown Bar Harbor and walk around. If you want to spend a little money, you can sign up for one of the bus tours that will take you into Acadia National Park. But apparently a lot of the people have chosen just to visit Bar Harbor itself. But there are quite a few cars parked here today. Uh, not a lot. Oh, here's a bit of parking. But there are you know, still quite a few cars parked here. Uh, a lot of in-state cars, so these are probably people uh, that are, you know, live in the area that are downtown for some reason, or maybe a few who have driven in from the big city, Bangor, to visit Bar Harbor today. It is Wednesday. Okay, this is Bar Harbor downtown at uh, 135 on November 2nd. 2022. As you can see, uh, it's as crowded as it was some days during the summer. So I'm going to uh, end this video uh, now that we've seen what Bar Harbor looks like today. And uh, the next time I come, probably either around the end of November or in early uh, December, I think we'll see a little bit different vista for Bar Harbor because there won't be any cruise ships then and things will be a lot quieter since the vast majority of the tourist-oriented businesses will be closed for 2022. So I'd like to say thanks for watching my video. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, please uh, 
give me a thumbs up and if you haven't why don't you consider subscribing to my channel